Good morning, Positive Astros. The time is now 8.40. Today is Wednesday, September 12, 2018. My name is Natalie. My name is Christian. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Channel 5, 5 News. News. Thought for today. Be a leader everywhere you go. Rem remember that you are always a Positive Astro. Now over to Addison with the Pledge of Allegiance and Schools Pledge. Will you please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge today to do my best. With a great attitude, I will progress. I promise to obey the rules and own my choices each day in school. I'll respect myself and others too, and work hard to constantly improve. I am committed to learn all I can. I am in charge of my life's plan. Now back to the anchor. Thank you, I send today's announcements. Wednesday, September 12th. Be a hero, 4th grade, 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. Have a great day. Now over to Mr. Vessel with the words of wisdom. Good morning, Positive Astros. So our word for today is trustworthiness. So I have a little story I want to tell you. It comes out of Aesop's Fables, and it's the boy who cried wolf, okay? So before that, I want you to sort of think about it. Have you ever heard of somebody who called for help but didn't really need it? And then they laughed about it. Hmm. How about pulling a fire alarm or calling 911 as a prank? Is that funny? What can happen when you call for help and really don't need it? What are some of the consequences and how can you make it right? Hmm. Those are some thoughts for you to ponder as I read this story. Okay. So once, long ago, there was a young boy who tended a flock of sheep atop a tall hill that led down to the village. All day long, the boy saw, sat and watched the sheep. Do, 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 do. Sometimes he became so bored with no one to talk to except the sheep. He longed for some excitement. But what could he do? He had to tend the sheep. Then one day, he had an idea. He took his bullhorn and he blew it into the mighty wind. Well, that blew. That horn? signals to the whole town that it's an emergency. This sound echoed throughout the valley below. That was the signal for the village folks that the shepherd boy was in trouble. They dropped what they were doing and ran up to the hill. As they got closer, they could hear his voice calling out, Wolf! Wolf! A wolf is trying to get the sheep! The people scrambled to the top of the hill, looking for the wolf. There was no wolf anywhere. There was no wolf, only the boy laughing at his own joke. You should have seen your faces, he laughed, all red and puffy. You look so funny. The people did not laugh. Their faces turned from concern to anger. As they turned around to go, one of the med men said harshly, You betrayed our trust. We counted on you to be true to your job. You should never call for help when none is needed. This is not funny. A few days later, the boy once again bored. He remembered how the townspeople looked as they huffed their way up the hill and they began looking for the wolf. It would be even funnier to see them a second time. So again, he took his bullhorn and he let the sound alarm the village below. When the people heard the alarm, they thought surely the lad would not try such a trick again. So they took their weapons and trudged up the tall hill. But again, when they got there, they were greeted by the boys sitting in the tree, laughing at them. This time, the man who had talked to the boy before did not say a word. As he looked at the boy, the man's eyes said it all. You have disappointed your community your friends, and most of all, yourself. Now the boy realized that his tricks were not funny. He vowed to never do it again. However, just a few days later, a wolf did come. 
The boy was so scared. He took his bullhorn and blew the alarm. The townspeople heard it. They just shook their heads. Fool us once, shame on you. Fool us twice, shame on us. You will not fool us three times. And they went back to work. All day long, the boy sat hugging the limb of the tree as the wolf scattered the sheep. He felt so helpless and felt so sorry for his flock. At the end of the day, the villagers wondered why the shepherd's boy did not return. When they went to find out, they found the boy sitting in the tree crying. Why? Why didn't you come? When I called, he cried. As the man helped him out of the tree, he said, trust is a funny thing. It takes years to prove you are trustworthy, but only one lie to break it down. Now, come with us to find your sheep and show the people that you are willing to pay for your lack in judgment. And slowly, you will again enjoy the trust of others you having having you. So, I'm not going to be here tomorrow or Friday, and that's why I did a little bit of a longer lesson today. Because you guys really need to think about that word trustworthiness. And you don't want to break that trust with somebody. We don't want to fool others. It takes a lot to earn somebody's trust, and he's right. Only one lie can break that trust. So make sure that you don't make that lie. Make sure you're honest and truthful. And when you do something wrong, you rightly admit it. Okay? So positive Astros, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Now over to Miss Ward with the grab box prize inside. Hey, my friends. Good morning, good morning, positive Astros. We have our oldest Spunk Meyer creature of the day. So if you pick, if you sow your oldest Spunk Meyer fundraiser cookie dough, pizza dough and you have your little blue coupon I'm, I'm sorry little white coupon and you bring it to the cafeteria at your lunchtime the creature for today is drum roll please our creature of the day is this little dragon orange dra orange dragon, dragon. So if you get this little dragon today, he's our creature for today. So sell, sell, sell your Otis Spunkmeyer and get your little white coupons, your creature for today. Have a great day, Positive Astros. Back to our news crew. Thank you, Mr. Butzel. This week's announcements, Thursday. And Mrs. Ward. This week's announcements, Thursday, September um, 13th. Para. Para meeting in the Leadership Lounge at 9.40 a.m. and 2 o'clock p.m. Friday is Spirit Day, so remember to wear your Neil Armstrong t-shirt and your uniform bottoms. Try your best ev today and every day. Now to, to coach. Oh, good morning, positive Astros. It takes the little old lady a while to get over here. Oh, my goodness. We have some birthdays in the crowd, or we have a birthday in the crowd. Come on up here, birthday boy. And what is your name? Austin. And how old are you today? Six. Wow, that's old. That's almost a year old. You're still a puppy if you're a dog, though. And whose room are you in? Miss Bailey's. All right, are you ready to do the chicken dance? Okay, here we go. Got the camera on him. Here we go. <laughs> All right, awesome sauce. Go ahead and get yourself a shell and a dragon tear and then don't forget to stop up in the office and get your birthday book and you have a great day austin back to the anchors thank thank you coach lunch for today monthly special cheesy chop steak mashed potatoes gravy steamed broccoli whole grain roll choice of fruit milk 
Breakfast for tomorrow. French toast sticks or choice of cereal, whole grain muffin, oatmeal, low-fat milk. Now over to Addison with the weather report. James. PM thunderstorms, 93 degrees high, 75 degrees low, 40% chance of rain. Thursday, PM thunderstorm. Tuesday, wait, Thursday, Thursday PM thunderstorms, 92 degrees high, 76 degrees low, 50% chance of rain. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Addison. Birthdays for today, Damian, Curtis, Austin, Mosier, have a great day, Positive Astros, and thank, thank you, you for, for watching Channel 5 News. We will see you again tomorrow at 8.40. Have a wacky Wednesday. Bye.